day has come where I will be transforming my space into into this fall cozy little oasis in our home I won't be decorating the outside of the home it's just the inside because we are still in late summer and it is about a thousand degrees outside but inside the home it's nice and cool I have my flannels on and we will be making this space very cozy and just feeling all the fall. So I will be baking at some point some homemade pumpkin bread because, hey, we are soaking up the fall. Even though it's not fall, we are making it fall. So I'll be making some homemade pumpkin bread. And then at some point to recharge my batteries, I will be making some frozen coffee because I still do have leftover coffee in the pot. And again, I mentioned it in my previous vlog, we give coffee in this home another life. So we make our morning coffee and then during the day, and we don't do this every day, but every so often we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and make frozen coffee. So I am gonna show you what we'll be working with today. And a lot of the decor that I have is kind of a little bit from everywhere. It's from Target, Home Goods, Walmart, Dollar Tree, Amazon, just a little bit Dollar General. So I, all my fall decor, I've had from previous years and then every year I'll just buy a few pieces and add on to it, but I am not one to splurge and buy all this fall decor every year. I'm all about make use of what you have, you know, decorated differently every year or um, add another little small piece to it. But I am not about just, you know, spending lots of money on fall decor every year. I literally reuse everything I have. I'll even pop into the thrift stores and see if I could find any like, old vintage pieces, but work with what you got, guys. Don't go out spending lots of money because at the end of the day, you make your home cozy the way you like, and you can add just a simple candle pillow and a throw, and that's more than enough to, you know, bring in the fall season in your home. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick overview of the things that I have bought and that I have had from previous years. And I think this year I might have spent about $50. That is it. And don't plan on spending much more. So let's go get to it and see and show you what I have. Okay, here is what I'll be working with today. And I know it looks like a lot, but I promise you it's not. Once everything gets placed in the home, you'll see that it's not like overkill, but this is all that we'll be working with. And remember the little pumpkin centerpiece DIY that I did in my last vlog? We'll be placing that on the table today. But yeah, this is it, everyone. Okay, the first space that we're gonna be transforming into a little cozy fall coffee shop will be our little coffee station bar area. Um, the kitchen is by far my favorite, favorite space of the home. Um, to me, it's just a space where you cook, break bread, everybody kind of congregates, talks, kind of tell each other how your day has gone. So to me, a kitchen is the most important space in the home for me personally, because that's kind of where everyone gathers. So um, with that comes our little coffee station. And I have way, way too many mugs. I have, I love to buy mugs or something about mugs that I just feel like it brings your kitchen, it makes the space cozy. So. I have all these mugs here that I need to move into one of these other cupboards up here um, where I have all my seasonal mugs at. And I will be for sure donating and recycling these mugs because there's no need for me to have this many mugs. And I really don't realize how many mugs I buy throughout the year until it's time to kind of like switch it out depending what season we're in. But let's go ahead and get our fall mugs out and transform this space to a little cute little coffee fall, a little cozy fall coffee shop. Thank you. 
I love how it turned out. It already feels like fall. Is that not the cutest? I think the piece that I love the most are those little pumpkin spoons. And those pumpkin spoons I did get at Hobby Lobby. I think regular price, they were like $9.99 and they're 40% off, but they are so stinking cute. So you want them guys, go to Hobby Lobby. They are 40% off currently. Now that the coffee station is all decorated for fall and it's so warm and cute and cozy, we're gonna make our way to the kitchen area and go ahead and bring some fall into our kitchen. Now I did take down most spring decor, but I still have a few pieces left that I need to take down. So we'll take those down now and bring some fall in the kitchen and continue decorating. Mm -hmm. picture sign which is this here on my backsplash now I have never done this but it just occurred to me so I got this it's a two-sided little fall sign that I got from the dollar section at Target probably about two years ago and it just dawned on me I have a white uh, backsplash so Travis put like these little command strip velcro type thing so I can hang it on my backsplash so I am going to stick this guy on there just again just to give it a little bit of color and the good thing is that the backsplash is white this is white so the only thing that's really going to pop are the colors from the pumpkin so I've never done this so this is one something that I decided to do this year and I think next year I want to hang a wreath on our hood I just didn't do it this year because we already have this wreath and two wreaths is just going to be overkill but I think next year I'm going to make my own wreath with um, autumnal dried florals so that'll be a nice DIY for next year but let's continue decorating and hang this beautiful sign. progress as you can see things are slowly disappearing from the table so the next thing that we're going to work on is I'm going to make something with the leftover floral that I have from making the uh, centerpiece form from that fall DIY so I'm going to make an arrangement and put it on the island that way it's still tying in some fall and I don't let this go to waste i can go ahead and spruce up the island since i have these flowers here currently and i'll probably just move these to our bedroom but we will go ahead and make some kind of arrangement something simple that way they're not just again going to waste and i can go ahead and continue to add warm tones to the kitchen yeah, something Shirt wearing the sky. 
skirt that my mother gave to you I come up behind you and kiss on the side of your neck of you And turn off the lights, the stars in the sky are turning so I just cannot fathom of not using the remainder of the dry florals from my DIY project and it just sitting in a tub. So I figured, let me go ahead and do something with them right that way it can bring in some more warm tones in our home. Because as you can see, we have a very neutral um, color palette in our home. So, and I prefer it that way. That way I can add splashes of color throughout the home depending the season. So. This was a nice little touch to our kitchen. And this little guy here, I probably bought it two, three years ago. And I just refill it every year with like hand soap. So again, I will find ways to reuse anything in our home. That way I'm not having to buy extra stuff. So extra items for whatever season we're in. So yeah, so this is an oldie, but always fun to add to our kitchen. So now, we're gonna head to the foyer and I really don't add much in there. I just have like a little fall sign and I'm gonna hang a little garland on our entryway table and that's pretty much it. And then we will move to the living room. But once we're done with the foyer, I need some frozen coffee because I'm getting a little thirsty and we need to recharge some batteries so that way we could keep going and keep decorating. frozen coffee and I still haven't put the leftover coffee from this morning and it's still in our pot so we will be making some frozen coffee and I have been on a frozen coffee kick so let's recharge our batteries. tried like your own version of frozen coffee at home you're missing out this is so so good and I never used to like anything like 
coffee flavor, but our boy, the youngest one, loves iced coffee, frappuccinos, and he made me try this. He makes his own little version at home, and I have been hooked since. So again, do not let that leftover coffee go to waste. Use it in your kitchen however you wish, but frozen coffee is so good. And I'm gonna take a little break, sip on this, and then we're gonna move to the living room to start decorating the um, mantle, our couches, and we're almost wrapping up our little decorating sesh. And also, we cannot forget the dining area, but I'm gonna go ahead and recharge some batteries, sip on this for a minute, and then make our way to the living room. decorated and again guys like I said I just add little touches of fall it's nothing where it's overkill or it's like fall explosion but definitely you know that fall has arrived to our home so our living room is done the last thing that we have to do is the dining table and I will say that I am still on a hunt for a tablecloth. So I typically throw a tablecloth on our table and then I will decorate it with a runner, centerpiece and candles. But because I, I have not been able to find a uh, tablecloth for our table, it's just gonna be a runner with the centerpiece candles. And I do have some fall chargers that I'm gonna place on the table just to kind of spruce it up a little bit. But definitely need a tablecloth for fall and typically I will leave all this stuff up until probably about early in mid-November because at that point I transition into Christmas because I want to soak up as much Christmas as possible so I have no problem decorating for fall mid to late August because I can enjoy the fall decor the coziness of the fall season and then slowly transition into Christmas and enjoy Christmas. I absolutely love, 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 love Christmas. Fall is my favorite season, but something about Christmas is just, ugh. I love the Christmas movies, the hot cocoa, the family time baking Christmas cookies. Ugh, I love it so much. Looking at Christmas lights, decorating a tree. I can go on and on and on. But um, now that the living room is done, it is time to make some pumpkin bread and we're gonna get that going where the house can smell so so yummy like a little bakery and then as that's baking away in the oven 
we will start decorating our dining table. So that is the last bit that we have, guys. Oh, and another thing. On the hearth of our fireplace, I always buy pumpkins and decorate it with actual real pumpkins, the fantasy pumpkins, but obviously there's not pumpkins yet in the grocery store. So just so you guys know, typically Trader Joe's sells their fantasy pumpkin any size for $7.99. So we load up on lots of pumpkins and I'll decorate my fireplace and the front of my door with a, like a little stack of hay. It's so cute. So as soon as Trader Joe's gets their fall shipment in and they start selling the pumpkins, we will be doing a pumpkin haul. And once, um, another thing that we do, because again, we do live out in the country um, and there's a lot of wildlife out here. So we have a lot of deer that roam our property. Um, once I'm ready to get the pumpkins, we'll cut it up and we'll throw it out there for the animals. So it doesn't ever go to waste. So we get to enjoy it in our home and then I will throw it out on our property for the wildlife. And I'm sure that the deer, what, whomever, they are having a feast on pumpkins. So, um, and I also buy like the regular big old little orange pumpkin and I roast the whole pumpkin in the oven. That way I have pumpkin puree. And mm, let me tell you, fall baking is my fave. So stay tuned to a lot of fall baking because I am going to have a blast and be in my own little world, just baking away and just enjoying, truly enjoying this autumnal season. <laughs> tablecloth um i thought that i needed one but i think it looks pretty good the way it is and if you guys want to learn how to make this fall centerpiece um go to my video it's right here here's the thumbnail to the video and i will also link it in my description box that way you can fast forward to it and learn how to make this pumpkin centerpiece which is so stinking easy you could probably do it with your eyes closed but i absolutely love the way the table turned out and everything in the home looks so so pretty
this is my first warm drink in my little pumpkin mug. I love this mug. I bought two of them last year from Dollar General and they were like three bucks, so, so affordable. And I'm so glad I found them because this just adds a nice little cute cozy touch to the home. But I have enjoyed hanging out with you guys. I hope you've enjoyed decorating with me. I hope I've given you some fall ideas. Even though it's hot outside, I am creating my own fall little wonderland here at home. And as you can see, I don't decorate where it's just so much um, fall decor in the home. It's just little sprinkles of fall throughout my home. So I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me. Thank you, thank you for supporting my little itty bitty channel. And um, I look forward to making a lot more fall content with you guys. But as always, I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. And get, get out there and decorate for fall if you are an autumn lover. There are no rules that say that we cannot decorate when we want to. So goodbye guys and have a wonderful weekend. Mm -hmm.